Good morning. Well, got another issue to tackle here. This is my transom saver for my little John boat. Got my little Nissan on the back of it. Well, the problem I'm having, this right here, this is the lowest dollar version of it that you can buy at uh academy sports i don't remember uh, i guess it's atwood whoever makes it but you know this this end goes to the trailer this end goes to the outboard it's supposed to keep the outboard from bouncing on the transom as you're going down the road but the problem i'm having is they made this one pretty doggone cheap look at that well the problem with that is as i'm going down the road the outboard motor tends to lean to one side and push that thing out so i need to i guess build a new end for it that'll be stiffer than what we got right here oh i'm gonna get to thinking about it i'm gonna take this apart and figure out what we're gonna do i got some scrap metal up under there i might can make something might not. I don't know. We'll see what we got. Okay. Well, I got this half inch plate here. Boy, that's going to piss my little welder off. That'll be stiff. That motor ain't going to lay that over. All right, let's get some marks on here. Sharpie's getting out of hand. Don't you look at that. We'll take two pieces about like that. And we'll start working from there. My nose is running. We have graduated from tree pollen to grass and everything else pollen. Gotta love the south. Okay, here we are. Tell you what, the older I get, the less steady my hand is. Ten years ago, I could have cut that stuff dead perfect. Absolutely perfect. My hands just ain't as steady as they used to be. Probably got something to do with my butt being fat. Anyway, basically we're going to take these. We're going to build an outer frame for this. And these are going to go on the outside like so and I'm going to trim this off so I can get them in tighter they're going to be bolted through the inside I'm going to have them countersunk of course so the bolt heads can't get into the aluminum foot of the motor these these are going to be welded this way that's going to take the place of this and I'm going to have to put one little plate on the back of it to get my to get my total length right and yeah there's where we're at now so I'm gonna weld this up and then we'll start being able to get a better figure on what we're gonna do this is a complete fly by the seat of my pants operation here all right here we are uh, this is ugly as hell but it's what I came up with. My width was just a little bit off trying to get it up into that bracket. So I had to hand grind it down with the grinder. I don't like doing that. It's ugly as hell. That's something else I miss. Uh, Hurricane Matthew decided to take my milling machine too. So we do, what, we do with what we have available. So this is going to go in there. That is going to somehow weld to those plates. 
at the right ang correct angle and then that is going to bolt in between and we'll see where we're going next. More figuring needs to be done. Still warm. All right, we got that in there and drilled. So all we got to do is get them wings bolted on and then figure out how we're going to get the plastic, the rubber thing, bolted onto the inside of the wings. We're getting there. Well, here's about what we're going to have. I trimmed all that rubber off the side that, you know, kind of went in and bolted like that did. That's some weird, very strange rubber. It's very low melting temperature, so when I cut it, it re-welded itself behind the cut. Yeah, that sucked. But got it done. It ain't pretty because it don't respond well to sander or anything else like that. So this is basically about what I'm going to do. We're going to put this on here like this. I'm still on the fence on exactly how I want to attach the rubber in here. So we'll see. But in the meantime, I'm going to buzz this up. I'm going to tack this up like this right here. Walk out there and make sure it'll fit in the boat. Fit onto the boat motor. And then uh, we'll go from there. All right. That's kind of tacked up. That'll work. What I think I'm going to do here, I'm going to make a little bracket come across here and just run a bolt through the original hole to hold that rubber in rather than try to drill sideways through here and get everything lined up and still risk the metal screws getting into the aluminum foot and maybe wearing a hole in the foot or whatever, damaging that. Old outboard feet ain't cheap. So we're going to weld this here up, and then we're going to make us a little bracket. We're going to go here to here, and the same on the other side. We're just going to run a bolt through there to keep that keep that in place. And I'll probably shim it with some washers so it'll stay centered. All right. Well, there we go. Ain't the prettiest thing in the world, but that booger ain't going to move now. We'll go out there and do some final fit. Take it back apart. Slap the paint on it. And we'll be good to go. Y'all have a good day. All right, there we go. The booger ain't going nowhere now. It'll stay pretty close to center, which is all I need, just to relieve the back of the transom a little bit going down the road. Won't sway over hard to one side like it has been. If you buy that cheap transom saver from, I think it's that wood Casey, but I know I got it from, uh, uh, Academy Sports, because my old one was shot, and old, wore out, and raggedy. That was back when they made good ones. But you know, twenty some years, it 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 had its it had its fair run. All right, all I got to do now is get two more straps, because the length changed a little bit, and then we'll be done. So let's go get some straps. And there we go. Slopping the motor is solved. Hook there. Got my two little short bungee cords there. Now that son of a gun won't lay over, but so far it won't lay all the way over to like where it's about to fall out the old raggedy original one. Yeah, that works. That's done. On to the next project. Y'all have a good one.